The term artificial intelligence is first used in 1950 by the John McCarthy in the summer camp of mathematician conference. Assalamu alaikum. Hello friends. I welcome you all in my channel. Five minutes information and this is episode number 103. In this episode, I will talk about the artificial intelligence. Viewer guidance. You can get the notes of this video lecture mentioned on the link of this video description. In this video, I will talk about point number Number one, what is artificial intelligence? Point number two, what are the real examples and usage of artificial intelligence? And point number three, what are the types of artificial intelligence? Come to the point number one, what is artificial intelligence? There is a no proper definition of artificial intelligence that is acceptable to all domain of knowledge. It is an umbrella term. The universal concept of artificial intelligence presented by the United Nations Information Economy and report in 2021. The report says artificial intelligence is the ability of machines and system to acquire and apply knowledge and to carry the intelligent behavior. This may involve performing various cognitive tasks such as sensing, processing oral language or natural language, reasoning and learning, make, making decisions and, and demonstrating an ability to manipulate objects accordingly. The more suitable definition presented by by the hacker in 1986. Artificial intelligence is a branch of computer science that concerns the ability of computer to perform the intelligent tasks such as those acquiring, recognizing, reasoning and learning. Point number two, what are the usage and example of artificial intelligence in our real life? Though artificial intelligence is effect in all walks of our daily life, it is used for the maps and navigations. Number two, Facial detection and recognition. Number three, text editor, autocorrect, and translation to the natural language process. Searching and recommendation algorithm on the basis of usage metric of the internet user or computer user. Number fifth, chatbot. Like most of the people use chat GPT or different GPT based chatbot in their daily life. Number six, virtual assistant. The most of the time, called center and different website have presented virtual assistant to use and resolve the complaint of the customers and users. Now come to the point number three. What are the types of artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence are divided into two types. Number one types of artificial intelligence on the basis of capability. These fall three types. Number one artificial narrow intelligence. Number two artificial journal intelligence and number three artificial super Intelligence. Type number two types of artificial intelligence on the basis of functionalities. Number one, reactive machine AI. Number two, limited memory AI. Number three, theory of mind AI. And number four, self-aware AI. I will explain each types here one by one. The types of artificial intelligence based on the capabilities are three types. Number one, artificial narrow intelligence. Number two, artificial journal intelligence. Number three, artificial super intelligence. Artificial narrow intelligence or ANI refers the computer's abilities to perform single tasks extremely well. It is the most common and simplest form of AI. It is also referred as a weak AI and used for specific and narrow tasks. Examples of narrow AI is virtual assistant like Siri, Apple, Alaska by Amazon and Cartrona by Microsoft. Official and image recognition interpretation software are the example of narrow artificial intelligence ANI. Number two, A artificial journal intelligence AGI. Artificial journal intelligence is the ability to achieve complex tool in a complex environment using the limited computational resources. Sometimes it's referred as a strong AI. In any other episode, I will discuss what is the difference between the strong AI and weak AI. The example of artificial intelligence journal are self-driving car, expert system, and language model GPT. Point number type number three sub artificial super intelligence or ASI. Artificial super intelligence ASI defined by the Brett and Bun into 2017. Artificial super intelligence is an a significant and more intelligent than human in all aspects, where the machine becomes self-aware and surpass the capability of human intelligence and ability. The example of AI 
AI or artificial super intelligence are Google Deep Mind. Google Deep Mind is an AI system that is capable of playing complex games such as chase and goals. And AlphaGo. AlphaGo is an AI system that is capable to playing game for game of Go. Now we come to the type number two: artificial intelligence on the basis of the functionalities. There are four types. Number one: reactive machine AI. Number two: limited memory AI. And number three: theory of mind AI. And number four: self-aware AI. Come to the point number one: what is the reactive machine AI? Reactive machine AI is capable to capable of responding external simulated in real time, unable to build memory or store the information for future. A chase playing supercomputer is an example of reactive machine AI. Number two, limited memory AI. Limited memory AI that can store knowledge and use to learn and train the future tasks. Like self, like self driving car is an example of limited memory AI. Type number three on the basis of functionalities is theory of mind. Theory of mind AI that can sense and respond to human emotions plus perform the task of limited memory machine. Like personal assistant and chat codes. The chat boards are the examples of theory. Number four, self-aware AI. Self-aware AI that can recognize other emotions plus has sense of self-aware of self-aware and human level intelligence. That is the final stage of AI. Social reports are the example of self-aware AI. Now, here I conclude. In this episode, I discuss the three points. Number one, what is AI and provide the definition of AI. What are the real example and usage of AI in our daily life? And number two, three, what are the different types of AI on the basis of functionalities and capabilities? That's end from the episode number 136. Stay connected. I will be back soon with another informative episode. And don't forget to comment about this video. Thanks for watching. Stay connected.